Hey guys, so I want to take a minute and just drop like a quick 411. The easiest way for either an owner operator or a driver that's paid percentage to get a little bit more coin in their pocket. Um, the easiest endorsement, five questions, is tanker. And you'll have to excuse the wiggling of the truck. I'm being unloaded. Um, tanker. We, um, we come from the oil field. All my drivers have tanker endorsements. Um, all of them actually have hazmat endorsements as well. But we haven't pursued hazmat. The insurance difference is pretty high, and I'm still kind of doing a little bit of studying to see if the higher rate for the freight is worth the higher rate for the insurance. Anyway, um, over the last month or so, we've been taking tanker loads. The other day I did a little video showing a load I was gonna haul. I had a load for 4,100 bucks and same mileage, same city, origin point, origin or a, and destination point. Um, Amazon had a similar load, which would have probably been a lot lighter. My load was 42,000 pounds. Amazon's load was probably gonna be 10,000 pounds. Um, they were paying 1,600. Uh, Convoy had a load, same, same everything, only the weight was more. Uh, Convoy had one listed for about 1,900. And then I think um, had another one on XPO Again, same same distance, same port of origin, same same destination, and they were like close to two thousand or something, and so the tanker load was four grand. Um, that's a substantial difference, and it's a simple five questions. As far as your, um, sorry, I keep looking away. I'm I'm expecting someone to walk up any minute and say, "Here's your paperwork," and so as far as taking the test goes to get your tanker endorsement it's five questions um one page on the handbook talks about baffles and stuff like that and shifting weight and so on um honestly those of you that run hot shot trucks you get jarred around more by by the gooseneck than a tanker jars you around and i'm not even hauling tankers um at least not for over the road we're doing dry van and they put chemical totes in it this load was 14 chemical totes. Um, this is a different load than what we did the other day. Um, still ended up paying 390 a mile, which isn't bad, not bad at all. Um, the nice thing about chemical totes is you typically pick up at a place where there isn't 50 other trucks waiting to get loaded. Um, in this particular case, when I showed up to pick up the load, there were two outbound shipments that day. I showed up and 20 minutes later I was down the road and my delivery, I can flip this around real quick. Um, it's an ag place. And so they here have a whopping, you can see it in the mirror, they have a whopping two um, docks. And I showed up and two very nice gentlemen stepped out I'm gonna assume they're the owners because it's it's quiet here. There's there's nobody here um, They came out grabbed my paperwork and one of them jumped on the forklift and I'll be out of here in 15 minutes that opposed to let's say hauling 200 TVs at from LG to a Target distribution center, you know three hours on one end to wait and another two or three hours on the other and you can only be there at your appointment time, that kind of thing. When I spoke to the gentleman here, I told him I had pulled up to a truck stop up the street and waited for my appointment time. And, and he's like, hell, son, you should have just called. He says, we've been here. Um, my paperwork from the broker says, don't call the customer. And so I didn't. Um, but I probably could have just showed up and would have been unloaded immediately. I have noticed on these tote um, loads, you get unloaded pretty quick. Another truck is backing in now. Um, I'm just going to assume 
by looking at the truck, he's not hauling totes like I am. In either case, I'm being unloaded already. So easy in, easy out. Um, I do ask for, even though it's, it's non-hazmat, I think fertilizer is what I hold today. Um, I do ask for a copy of the MSDS form, um, material safety data sheet, I think is what they call it. And I carry that with me just in case. I mean, should the truck, Lord forbid, catch fire, I get into a wreck, it starts spilling, everyone starts flipping out, it's great to have that MSDS hand it to them and say, look guys, it's, it's just fertilizer. You know, it's not flammable, it's not, you know, a, a, it may be a carcinogen, but you know, it's not corrosive or anything like that. And so, again, just wanted to kind of emphasize five questions you have that extra endorsement on your license um, my dispatch is telling me that on a lot of these loads the reason we get better pay is less trucks are trying to take those loads so less competition more pay more pay means more pay whether you're owner operator or you're a driver being paid um, percentage you know my my load from last week the the loads that were um, tanker endorsement required um, paid almost twice as much. So if you're getting 25%, 30%, twice as much is twice as much. And so, yeah, get down there, study that one page, page and a half, get yourself those five questions. There's no skills test for the tanker endorsement. Get that added to your license and make a few extra bucks, fellas. Peace. Take care.